say hi because we don't know what time it is when you're watching this. <laughs> uh, my name's Gary Bridger and I'm here to show you how I am going to put a SSD drive into a 2011 15 inch MacBook Pro. So um, I've actually upgraded from Lion to Sierra as I was a bit worried about software and updates and everything else so I surfed the net Got information from uh, Matt Borneo where I was over in Borneo for some time living. Um, I'm here in England now in the UK. Uh, so I got all the information I possibly could from YouTube as well and from my technical advisor over in Borneo. Hello again. So this is my 15 inch MacBook Pro. What we need uh, to start with is this SATA. Uh, SSD to USB cable they can be found on eBay quite cheaply now um, to fit one obviously just fit it to the uh, hard drive you want to replace in your MacBook Pro but first of all we need to connect it to the Mac we need to um, format it partition it obviously you don't need to format it you just bar partitioning it to get it ready for the actual um, cloning so you can replace your hard drive and you can use the other hard drive as it's still good in your optical drive and I'll show you how to do that later. So here I'm using um, Control Alt and R uh, then you just press start, start boot up your computer when you hear the chimes you can let go and then when it uh, sets itself it should set itself with a window giving you the utilities window. And there's the window. Okay. So now we have our window and we need to select this utility. And from here we then select our mass storage system. This is the external uh, hard drive which we've connected and we need to uh, partition it and name it and have it prepared for the cloning otherwise your Mac will not recognize the hard drive uh, you can recognize it in the utilities but not on your desktop so name this to what you want it to be recognized as and then you need this Mac OS extended journaled and guard partition map must be correct you can change this in security options now remembering that mine has already been, already been uh, configured so we'll just click erase and then you'll have a little bar going up showing you erase and once it's done then you can restart your computer. So we're now going to clone the hard drive and to do that what we need to do is we need to go um, into your Macintosh HD so we're selecting Macintosh HD we then go to restore and then we need to select our hard drive which is our OS X 2T SSD which is the mass storage device which is connected to your Mac do not use the OS X base system and then once we have selected that we can then restore it's as simple as that but just read that top bit there because your uh, external hard drive will be um, formatted again and ever all the information which was on there if any will be lost so we now um, are going to just I, I actually did click restore but as you have seen the in the title there um, it's already been done so just click restore it may take up to a couple of hours it could take up to 24 hours to actually uh, transfer all the information onto your SSD drive so be prepared for a long wait um, and once it's done then you can disconnect your hard drive and then once that is done you can now prepare your hard drive for replacing the original hard drive in your MacBook. 
So all I'm doing now is just uh, checking the uh, external hard drive, making sure that it's got the cloned information, and then I can shut down the Mac and then get it ready to take the back off. So removing the screws from the uh, 2011 aluminium uh, MacBook Pro uh, on the back, there are so many screws, but three at the back are longer than the others so um, it's good to get one of those uh, mats as you see I have here uh, which is basically a microfiber cloth uh, stops the Mac from getting scratched and stops you losing screws if you place the screws around the side they don't roll away so you need a size 00 Phillips screwdriver and just remove the screws and place them to the side now remember, as you can see, those ones at the back there are slightly longer, so do not get those confused. And make sure you keep all your screws separate from the screws when you're taking the hard drive out and the optical drive. Do not get them confused. And then take the lid off. Okay, it's quite clean because I didn't I only clean it the other day, a little bit of dust here. So we've got the battery, we've got the fans, we've got the main logic board. This is the RAM if you want to replace RAM, quite easily to replace RAM. And undo these here, that's it, sorry, don't click that back. Just click these two bits up here, pull them out, there's two, there's one underneath. When you put them back in, just slot them back in carefully. And click them down. Simple to change the RAM in a MacBook. Um, so what we are out about to do is change this one here. That is the drive I want to replace with this drive. Okay, this is a Torque T6 screwdriver. All right, that's what you need for taking out the hard drive. And this is a double zero Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so what I'm doing now is uh, I'm undoing these screws using the Phillips uh, 00 head screwdriver, or you can use the other little screwdriver which came with the kit. Now, I've undone the screws already here and here, here. Uh, when you take this out, just leave the screws in and leave the bar there so you know where it is and you know where the screws are. Um, then you can just lift the tab up and this hard drive comes straight out. Now if you be careful not to pull because the ribbon can easily be ripped and just gently ease the ribbon off like so and there we have the hard drive now we've got. All right now the hard drive is out uh, if you look on the left hand side here um, I'm going to take off these little toggles these are little locating toggles, there's two on either side of the hard drive. We need to take these out and then replace them on the new hard drive. And then once we've done that, we can then put the um, SATA cable back on again and uh, slot the hard drive back in. Remember to replace the locating lugs, um, otherwise uh, the hard drive will rattle around when you move it. So uh, just remember to do that. Old hard drive you had here, um, if you can just see, if I just pull this over here, uh, you can take this just out again and replace this ribbon back here. It's just for easy um, access to taking the hard drive out.
So I'm just going to replace the lid. We should have original software. I've turned the MacBook over now and I've taken the lid back off because uh, I now want to replace this with the new um, hard drive. Uh, so we'll use this uh, plastic clip just to uh, ease that uh, band off there. We don't need that one. And then uh, we need to find a clear way into actually releasing the actual optical drive. What I need to do is I need to remove these uh, screws here. Should be a Phillips fit. Yep. Uh, should be one more here. Careful not to lose your screws. And just lift this out. I've zoomed in to this little cable as you can see I've loosened it already because it did take a little while to uh, get it out so uh, usually a little plastic tool just to ease it out a little bit and draw it back and that's it I also had to remove a screw down in here as well to ease the uh, optical drive out remove the screw here and I've removed a screw in here. Okay. And we also have a band here which is going to take up this one here. Right down inside here, there's another little screw. Just need to unscrew that one. And the optical drive can be lifted out. Here we are. Is because I've got to replace the other hard drive um, and put it into a, the casing like this and put it back in here this little band here which you undone just carefully undo that part there that will take this away so we've got our new hang on a second let me just uh, turn that off and we need to reconnect this into here quite simply like that plate here which will fit inside here um, we'll go that way in and we need to reconnect this into here quite simply like that now I've already taken the four screws out here instead of just plopping as you can see there nice and easily and we want to get our new hard drive which is the two terabyte that into there as you can see and just push that gently into place and be a bit fiddly that's it so it's locked in and then we can put the plate back. The other thing you must do is take this piece off here to replace that bit on there. Otherwise, the uh, when you put the screws back in, it won't be secure. Once you've uh, got the lid back on, you'll need to get a small screwdriver, which came with the system, and just tighten up the screws. Oops. And then you can basically just slot this back into the system, into the mountings. Hopefully it should all fit. The designer's got it right. A screw in there. This is the little fiddly bit to uh, enable us to get this screw in its right place and comfortably seated we need to keep this screw here loose and then once it's seated we can tighten the screw up. We've got this screw in here 
and the screw in there. Those two are Phillips. This one here, this one here, and this one here is a torque screw. Little plug back in. Make sure that these plugs are located back into place. And of course, now all we need to do is just connect all the cables, make sure they're secure, and then we can replace the lid on the MacBook Pro, do all the screws, and then we can boot her up and check all the drives. Go into um, your disk app, open it up, and it loads up straight away and uh, then we can find uh, obviously it's showing already but you find your SSD and then you go to um, partition obviously it's there already so yeah if you go to partition you go to this part here not the uh, second uh, uh, unit there uh, you'll get this window come up just write in there what you want to name your hard drive. I've uh, named it SSD, 2 terabyte, Mac OS, X, um, sorry, Mac OS Extended Journal, um, size 2 terabyte, and then just click Apply, and straight away um, it will uh, go through the process. And I had no trouble whatsoever, so it's all done. Um, and there you go, SSD, 2 terabyte wallop loads of space uh, just to check it just to show you get information and um, if I just zoom over to there okay so all the MacBooks back together I've screwed it all the lid back on everything's in place all I need to do now is take the optical drive take the housing which I got and uh, there's not even any need for any screws Basically just connect those two together, slot them in, push it down, take your lid, put it in place and that's it. So in here we've got a 2 terabyte hard drive which is a backup drive and a 1 terabyte hard drive SSD uh, hybrid, both hybrid drives. Thank you for watching.